You think we were right to eat this before lunch? No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Now, if there's one thing that we really like in this house, it is Rocky Road, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And today we're not just making any old Rocky Road. No, today we are making... Ice Cream Rocky Road. Ice Cream Rocky Road. And it's going to be really incredibly exciting and delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, like any Rocky Road, you can put in all of your favourite things. So, we're going to start mm. with some chocolate biscuits. You can use any biscuit you like. Um, can you help me snap them into two or three yes. pieces? You can use any biscuit you like, but I think in a Rocky Road, a chocolate biscuit goes really well. And these dark ones are great, but you could use Nice biscuits or shortbreads or gingerbreads, whatever you like, really. We're using your favourites today, aren't we? I love Oreos. We're using Oreos. <laughs> um, right, so two or three bits. We're leaving it quite chunky because we're going to be setting our ice cream into a loaf tin. And if you've got big pieces, when you cut it, you can see all the different textures and it's quite yeah. exciting. It looks so, nice when it's done. Next, we've got a mixture of chocolates. Now, just drop them in as they are. Yeah, you can just mix them in. We're just going to mix all of our ingredients, all of our flavourings together to begin with, so they're all together in one place. Um, I think this is a good thing to make at the end of Easter or if you've had a birthday party or any of those times where you've got too many sweets hanging around. Yeah, that makes sense. If you can never have too many sweets. <laughs> but any of those little caramel chocolate drops or, yeah, mini eggs or whatever you've got really would probably work fine in here. Just remember that you're going to have to cut through it, so if it's very, very hard, that could be tricky. You think you can like chop up some Easter eggs and put them in there? Yeah, or just break them up. And so what do you need in a Rocky Road? What's the one thing that Rocky Road is not complete without? Marshmallows. Marshmallows, obviously. We're using these little pink and white ones. Mm -hmm. Just because... Classic. Classic, yeah, exactly. Probably about two oh. thirds of a bag. Um, well, I like chocolate raisins. Yeah, I do as well. I you don't really like raisins on their own, but chocolate raisins are quite nice. <laughs> Mmm, that's quite strange, isn't it? So you wouldn't eat a raisin when it's just a dried fruit, but coat it in chocolate, oh yes, <laughs> then that's a real treat. Um, you could use peanuts. Oh yeah, that would You be could nice. use, what you know, little Smarties, M&Ms, those sort of little, any coated chocolatey thing. What else might you use? You could use... Mm, yeah, you could use nuts, that was a good one. Nuts are always quite nice. I think other dried fruits. So we're just going to mix this all up. Just get them all well combined. That's great. Right, let's set that aside. Now for the ice cream. We're using a really simple method, which is a no-churn method, so that when it freezes, we leave it to thaw a little bit, and then we should be able to cut through it really easily. Now the basis for this is double cream. Do you want to pour that into the bowl? It's a lot, do I pour the whole thing? The whole thing goes in, and to one, it makes a lot, this. It serves a lot of people. In it goes, condensed milk. You need about half a can. I'm just gonna pour that in. Now, because we're using the condensed milk, it adds texture and sweetness at the same time. And because sugar will stop it freezing too hard. A little bit of vanilla extract, just a few drops. That's it. And then we're going to whisk this up. Ah, oh, I see, the vanilla's like, look at it's done. Yeah, <laughs> it's dispersed. <laughs> and you know, when I grew up, my family had an ice cream factory. And we ate ice cream all the time. Who <laughs> knew that? It was before you were a little, before you were too young to remember. Mm -hmm. We used to eat ice cream all the time, pretty well every day. And you would think by now that I'm a bit fed up of ice cream. I still love it. I still love it. Still love it. Right, we're going to give this a whisk together and it should get quite thick. It won't go very, very thick, but thick enough to hold its shape. Now, if you look at this, it's really quite nice and thick. Yes? It looks quite nice. Now, we're going to add the chocolate. Cassia, I want you to pour in the chocolate as I whisk. Um, here's a little spatula, which might, might make it easier. We've just got a bit of dark chocolate here that we've melted and left to cool. We don't want it to be warm because we don't want to melt the cream, so it needs to be cool. Okay. Um, but we're just going to mix it together so it doesn't sort of set, so it incorporates easily. So if you pour and I whisk, Now you can see the mixture is really quite Ooh. thick. And so that means when we take the ice cream out to thaw it, it's never ever ever going to go milky. Like how you know how ice cream melts? Yeah. This won't do that because the original mixture is already thick. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's sort of almost moussey. We don't want to lose any of this, do we? So we'll just pop that out. Mm -hmm. Now, 
It's only very light brown and we've got some little tiny flecks of chocolate in there. They set oh. as they went in. <laughs> a bit like a stratticella. <laughs> Delicious. Now then, it's time to add our bits and pieces. Oh, yeah. The rocky road part. <laughs> um, I've got a loaf tin here. It's a two pound loaf tin. We've lined it with parchment. We're going to keep some of the bits to put on the top. Now you like ice cream, don't you? Yeah, I like ice cream. What's your favourite flavour? I like, I like bubblegum ice cream. Oh wow, I don't know how you'd make that, the bright blue one. Yeah, oh, I yeah. have vanilla ice cream. If you're talking about the three main ones, I yeah. have vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. You could make this vanilla. If you wanted to make it scoopable, you'd have to break the pieces much smaller so that you could actually get a scooper through it and then oh, you could yeah. put it on a cone. And then you could get some Oreo in it. <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah. But for this reason, for this, for ours, mm -hmm. we're leaving it nice and chunky. Yeah. So do you want to add some in? We want to make sure we've got some for the top, don't we? The sprinkle on top? Yeah. Okay. To make it look pretty. <laughs> it's so very easy. We'll definitely have a lot of uh, there's a lot of sweets in there. There's a lot of sweets, but remember it makes a lot. Make sure that you're getting a little little bit of everything. Oh, save that Oreo for the Ooh, top. I really wanna, mm. No, no, no licking. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no licking during no, cooking. Okay. That's that's definitely on the band list. Right. There's a tin. I'm gonna spoon it in. And I've lined it a bit higher because some of the sweets are quite chunky. So if there's too much, it doesn't matter because we protected the edges with the paper. Oh, look at that. Oops, getting a bit messy here. <laughs> but don't worry about it being all perfect on the top. That is not the look we're going for. Definitely. Right, you're ready then, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Go. Now, I think you could do a little bit more arranging rather than just chucking it on now. Ah. Think about filling all the gaps nicely. Now, you know what happens next, don't you? We put it in the freezer. freezer. You need to go into the freezer overnight, but the good news is I've already made one. Yay! Yeah, so we don't have to wait all night to <laughs> eat it. So once it's ready, pop it into the freezer. Um, I think it's a better idea to leave it overnight just to make sure it's really nice and firm. You can probably get away with four hours, but overnight is safest. Yeah. Then take it out for about half an hour just to make cutting it easier. And then you can slice it and serve. And then you can eat it. Should we try it? Yeah. All right. Mm. Right, should we try it? Mm -hmm. A little bit fingers crossed. At worst, it might be a bit difficult to slice. But I think I'm going to lift the paper out. Look at that. You can see all the little bits inside it. There we go, and if you can pass me a plate. What do you think about the idea of a little chocolate drizzle? Lovely. Do you think that's a step too far? No. Okay, chocolate sauce over the top, only if you fancy it. I think that's definitely enough for two people. Yeah, I definitely can't finish this myself. Maybe me and you could share it. So a little drizzle of chocolate yes. sauce. Right then, you can tuck in. You still want to try it after eating all of those chocolates? Yes. On them. Which bit are you going for? Mmm, the chocolate sauce is really good. Is it? What's the verdict? Did you get a crunchy bit or a chewy bit? I think I got a chewy bit. It was nice. Mm, I got another one. You think we were right to eat this before lunch? No. No. <laughs> Definitely.